How do I make my backing tracks? It's a lot easier than you think. Stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, RJ Ron Keo here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, Welcome. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I make my backing tracks and I figured I'd show you guys. So I do a lot of gear demo videos and I try not to spend a whole lot of time on the backing tracks. So I'm gonna show you my quick and easy way of uh, creating these tracks. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I do a lot of tutorial videos like this one, gear demos, guitar lessons, tour related vlogs. All right, so let's just jump in. One quick disclaimer, I'm not really an engineer or a producer. I rely a lot on presets and I don't really know much about EQ settings, compressor settings, etc. I just move around the knobs and sliders until they sound good to me. And by good, I mean good enough for YouTube videos that will most likely be watched on a smartphone while waiting for your number to be called at the DMV because you weren't smart enough to make an appointment at the DMV and now you're holding a ticket that says 56 and they're on number 24. True story. So sometimes I have an idea beforehand of the style of song I want to make uh, and that definitely makes it much easier to get started. I might have like a drum beat in mind or even a tempo, chord changes or maybe a riff, but sometimes I have zero ideas and I just start fresh and totally blank. And with the help of the plugins that I use, uh, I get some ideas. So for all of my demos, I use Logic Pro. Obviously you can use any DAW, Pro Tools or Ableton or something. A lot of the plugins that I'm gonna be using are compatible with almost every software. So in Logic, I already have a pre-made template. Uh, you can see on the screen, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six tracks. One uh, is the drum track. One is the bass track. One is uh, a keyboard track, just in case I want to have some kind of keyboard organ sound. Uh, a lot of times I don't like to put a rhythm guitar sound down. A, because I'm lazy. B, because um, I don't want to have too many guitar tracks uh, on a demo so I can kind of show off the main guitar track. So instead of playing guitar chords, I'll play them on a Rhodes or an organ. Uh, and then I just have three guitar tracks just to start out with. Sometimes I, I build up to like five or six, depending on how crappy I'm playing that day and I have to take multiple takes or punch in, punch out stuff. That's a secret between you and me. So drum tracks, I use Easy Drummer which is by Tune Track. Why I like it? I'll tell you why I like it, because the drum sounds are pretty good. D different kits that you can purchase uh, in addition to the main kits, but I mean, as you can see, I've bought a lot of drum kits um, and they're super fun to play with. Right now it's on this uh, Dirty Rock kit. Within each pack, there's like different sounds based on that type of genre or vibe. I mean, there's hip hop. There's jazz brushes. I mean, I can do like jazz demos. Hear that? Awesome kits that um, not only sound good, but they feel good. You know, when you're playing drums on a keyboard, you want those different velocities and you want it to sound and react based on how hard you're hitting it. And I think it does a pretty good job. So let's just pick a drum kit real quick. Glam Delay I used a lot because it's got like a little slap back delay on it. And it reminds me of like a You know, Gary Glitter. And the cool thing about Easy Drummer is, obviously you can play, you can record and play your own drum beat, but it also includes uh, this browser, which has a bunch of libraries of drum beats that are played usually by a real human being. So the feel is there. And when, you'll see it in a minute, but when you see the MIDI, they're not perfectly quantized. They're not perfectly in line. So it's got a more human feel to it. Obviously, if you want to quantize everything, you can. Sometimes I do that. But I like to have uh, the human feel to it. So, you know, maybe the hi-hat pattern isn't s precisely on beat or something, but I like that feel. You can use the library that's associated with the drum kit you're using, I think I'm on Vintage Rock. We got different tempos, standard tempo, medium tempo, 
Let's go with medium tempo rock. They all have their different names to kind of describe what they do. What does this do? Meter strut. Okay, so right now my project is at 120 and I want to keep it medium tempo. So let's knock it down to 95 and then we'll hear what these drum beats sound like. Here's one, a lot of love. I'm assuming it's going to be Zeppelin-y. Okay, so let's start with that. Now there's two ways to do this. Easy Drummer has a like a song maker built in. You can drag these loops in here. You can basically create the song within Easy Drummer just by dragging these things in. I don't like to do that. I like to drag everything in onto the main Logic timeline. Okay, let's drag this to the timeline. I don't like to start it at the very beginning because sometimes I like to do slides into the start of the song. So I need that beginning area. We're just gonna start with this basic drum beat. And then if I hit L, it'll just automatically loop until the cows come home. But I like to keep it under four minutes. So let's drag this down to like here-ish. A lot of times I used to just play bass lines. I just have this P bass that I've used to use. I still use it, but I get lazy. And lately I've been using a really cool plugin called Moto Bass. It gives you uh, multiple bass styles to choose from. You got 60s P bass, 70s P bass, 70s jazz bass, modern jazz bass. Here's some of the cool features. This little uh, slider thing uh, selects where you're plucking or um, fingering the bass. So if you want to do it closer to the bridge, it's a little more trebly. Or uh, if you want to do it closer to the neck, like it's a little warmer and rounder. So let's just do it where I would normally play it, which is around here. Play style. You can choose to have uh, it played with your fingers. Pick. It's a little bit edgier or slap, which I, I don't use that ever. This knob controls if uh, you're muting the strings or not. I keep it on zero. Other things you can manipulate, you can pick to have a five string bass, drop D, you can adjust the action. So it's a little buzzier when it's low action. You can even choose what kind of strings if you want flat wounds. Uh, the age of the strings, that's crazy. Old. Oh yeah, you can hear the rust on that. And then there's all this other stuff that I'm not going to get into, but uh, you can change the pickups, the pickup distance from the bridge. It's crazy. All right, I usually keep it simple. I start with the P bass. Sometimes I change it to a different bass, but I usually don't change any of the settings. All right, so I will play around. Just lay that down for like four bars. It hit me. Let's zoom in here. Uh, shorten. Chop, I like to keep everything nice and tidy. I'm gonna quantize this because I know I didn't play it the greatest. So, quantize. Let's loop that to the same as this. And let's end it on a downbeat, just for me. Okay, let's change this to a crash. So everyone's happy. Yeah. And then we'll elongate this one. Fine. Save. All right, so I have my drums and bass. And I'm going to put on some chordal stuff. That's a dorky piano 
which I almost never use, but I use this program called Easy Keys, which much like Easy Drummer, it kind of helps you create chords or songs. I won't use these sounds. I will just use the uh, actual software and the included rhythm tracks that it has. So there's a bunch of different... Uh, packs much like easy drummer but instead of drum beats you have like chord riffs or sometimes entire chord changes yeah i mean that's obviously not going to fit so since this track actually has some chord changes i think it's a c g d uh, i'm going to use the easy keys internal song maker to map out these chords for me. I've actually started the music at measure three, so I'm gonna put in my first chord here. I'm not gonna change the chord names just yet, I just wanna have the chord areas mapped out. It's a chord on beat three, a chord on beat four, chord on beat five, chord on beat six. So right now we only have C, 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 and that's not correct. The first chord is, it could actually be an A major, or it could be an A minor. A minor 7, A7, A7 sharp 9, ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Let's see what that's, and then you can kind of play it back to hear it now. Let's do A minor 7 for now. All right, the next chord is a C, so we'll keep it on C. So this is going to be a G, and I know this is going to be a D. I could make it a D minor 7. Let's see what that sounds like. So. Ooh, let's try it with a D major 7. Um, hmm, so many decisions. Ah, let's keep it D. What I have here is just the four chords of the this entire track. But I don't want to use this uh, piano sound. So what I'm going to do is create another MIDI track. I like to use like a Rhodesy sound. So let's try the one that came with Logic. And then I'm going to drag these chords. These are just simple whole note chords. So they're on the Rhodes track now. I need to mute the original piano track. It's a little low. Ooh. Put a little phaser on it to make it really 70s easy. So at this point, I'll just fix up little things like I need to put an ending on this keyboard track. So I'll just do, what am I gonna do? Let's make the start a little bit more interesting with the drums. So let's put a fill. Yeah, these... Yeah, that's gonna work real great. So I'm gonna do the first one. I just want that last... So I'm gonna chop it to... First... Yeah, right there. That's all I wanted. Let's make that first hi-hat a crash. And that's it. That's basically how I make my tracks. Simple as that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Share it with all your friends, family, coworkers, colleagues, pizza delivery guys. If you want to see more videos like this one, gear demos, guitar lessons, music related vlogs, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell to stay notified. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>